How do solids and liquids behave? Unit 3.2 Properties of solids and liquids A property describes what a substance or material is like or it behaves. We can measure, see or feel the properties of a substance or material. Solids and liquids have different properties. Solid. Try to squeeze your desk, chair or pencil. Can you make a different shape? Solids keep their shape unless a force is exerted on them. The shape of a solid does not change on its own. We can make some solids change shape if we squeeze or push on them hard enough. Remember the particle model? Particles in a solid are packed closely together. There is no space for the particles to take on a different shape. Solids have their own shape. The shape of the solid doesn't change with the container. Liquids. Solids keep their shape. What about liquids? What shape is the liquid inside a drinking glass? Predict what will happen when you pour some water onto a flat surface. Liquid particles are further apart than solid particles. The solid particles are closely packed while the liquid particles are freely or loosely packed. This lets them move around more easily. Since the particles can move, the liquid can flow and take the shape of container. Can solids behave like liquids? We can pour a liquid. Can we pour a solid? Most solids are hard and cannot change their shape because particles are packed tightly together. This means we cannot pour solids as we can pour liquids. Some solids such as sand, flour, salt and sugar are similar to liquids. We can pour them and they can take the shape of the container they are in. These solids can sometimes be called powders. Powders are made of lots of very tiny pieces of grains. There is air between the grains which means grains have space to move into. This lets the grains flow past one another like particles in a liquid. But each grain of powder is still made of millions of particles that are too small for us to see.